Okay, so just in case you haven't figured it out yet, it is April Fool's Day, and maybe you found out the hard way today. Yeah, I'm really not going to co-host the live show. But anyway, <laughs> even Hollywood get in on some of the pranking action you may have noticed when you turned on a couple of your favorite shows. Take a look. I'm so very excited to be hosting the Late Show tonight. It's a great day for America, everybody. We get to play The Price is Right. So for April Fool's Day here on The Price is Right, and then in conjunction with The Late Late Show, Drew Carey, not here, Craig Ferguson came through the doors and hosted the show to everyone's surprise. And now, here's your host, Craig Ferguson! I think it was his idea, but you no, laid it, somebody, it all No, it was somebody in the uh, Price is Right production office. They have meetings all the time about prizes and stuff, and they were trying to come up with ideas for the April Fool's show, and uh, they know we're friends, so they, somebody came up with that idea. The Price is Right always has a huge blowout April Fool's day. We always do something major. The problem is we always have to outdo ourselves, and we did. Craig Ferguson, come on down! He's great. You tell you something different if I wasn't here. That's what he's like. No, no, he's great. Honestly, it was really fun, genuine. He like cared about the contestants. You know, he was really happy when they won. Isn't it a great feeling? It's like really it? a great feeling. It's surprising. I was like, I'm not gonna care, but you really care. So you know when you when you host the Price is Right, it's it's physical. It's not just about running games. It's about absorbing hits. It's like being an NFL linebacker. What are these guys gonna be bidding for? Who's gonna do my show? Yeah, he's gonna be great at it. Growing up, I always wanted to be a talk show host. Then something happened to me. Uh, success. <laughs> That's what's kind of worrying me. He's going to be so good at CBS. Go, you know, we can just get rid of one of those guys. We keep Drew, and you know, he can work here, and then he can go upstairs and do the late night show. I've always had a lot of respect for Craig. Yeah, and me. For Drew. And, and, and look at him. He's still working. They say he's from Cleveland. He lost the weight. And look at him and the thing. And uh, yeah, you know, sure, but whatever. We've been friends for a long time. 1996, I came to work for Drew on the show. See, TV and TV time. That's a long time. Yeah. <laughs> now the problem is, this is our greatest April Fool's moment, and I already, in the middle of this episode, went, how do we ever top this? Which is impossible. <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun. Maybe next year for April Fool's, we should switch places with Outdoors Delmarva. We could go fishing? Yeah! I'm liking this idea. <laughs> this works well. Okay, so let's stay on the small screen for just a moment on a show that is not pulling any tricks on us. NCIS. Tonight, it's the conclusion of the two-part episode in Crescent City. After evidence points to a copycat serial killer, Gibbs and Pride hunt down leads New Orleans, while the rest of the team hunt political connections in D.C. This afternoon, we go behind the scenes to hear from the cast. Gibbs, I think you two know each other. Hello, my brother. I was intrigued by the idea that there was this little NCIS office in the real world that handled the New Orleans area and the whole Gulf Coast. The city has a huge personality. It's world-renowned. There's no place like it in the United States, maybe anywhere. You have someone leading that office who is a local. I play Dwayne Pride, who's nicknamed King. Sorry to interrupt, King, but we got a little bit of an issue. Did he just call his boss King, boss? He's a native New Orleanian. It has been there most of his life. You have another one who is raised there. Came here from Alabama when I was a teenager. You have a female from the Midwest. You have a great contrast that also represents not only the color, but also the choice of life that exists in that area. They work Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, all the way around the Gulf into Florida. There's a lot of events that happen down there with uh, folks in the military. They have issues of fraud and embezzlement, homicides, and some terrorism. Because New Orleans is sort of a mecca for people to come and party from all over the world, it has as many threats as Washington does. This character is just wildly passionate about his city and the people that live in his city. What don't you celebrate? Not much. So he really kind of rocks and rolls, you know, with the city, with the people around him. It causes problems. It causes him to bump up against authority. My city, my way. What happens in these two very special episodes of NCIS is that we are visited by uh, NCIS No LA. So it starts out where there's this murder of a former NIS agent and uh, North Carolina Congressman Dan McLean. Dan McLean happens to be a part of this group called the Fed Five. Gibbs and Pride were also a member. I have known SSA Pride for 30 years. 
trusting him with my life. Pride believes that there is some sort of political involvement in McLean's death. And so Gibbs and Bishop go down to New Orleans to help out the New Orleans NCIS team with that. There's a mystery to solve and everything, but it really comes down to the interactions between these characters and how everybody corresponds and that mystery alchemy that comes out of uh, the best TV shows. I'm Special Agent LaSalle. He's kind of got a rough, rough past. You know I'm going to keep fighting. They kind of run the show down in New Orleans, and then they get help from Zoe McLellan's character coming down from the Great Lakes area. Special Agent Brody is very intelligent. She is a fish out of water because she's in New Orleans, and this is new territory, and the way they run their program is completely different than what she's used to. Hey, why does everything in this part of town smell like beer? Probably because you're standing in a puddle of bachelor party vomit. Our doctor and our our quirky medical examiner. Dr. Loretta Wade, just look at her, she's kind of different. They just carried him out of here like an overstuffed sack of potatoes. She likes to dance because dealing with dead bodies all day, I wanted her to have something that was visceral and live. My hope is that NCIS New Orleans is a combination of fun and thrills with this musical backbone to it. Rich, rich characters, and at the same time still provide the crimes that we deal with in NCIS on a weekly basis. Laissez le bon ton roulet. Let the good times roll. Now you can watch NCIS Crescent City Part 2 tonight, 8 o'clock, right here on WBOC. I know where you'll be. Yes, I will be. <laughs> Thank you for watching Del Marvel Live. Be sure to join us tomorrow it made headline news when a pediatric surgeon drowned saving two boys from Lake Michigan. Now, his teenage daughter is trying to keep his memory alive. How she's also helping other kids cope after losing a parent. Becoming a parent is an exciting time, but there are important decisions that need to be made. We're going to learn about one decision that can even save your child's life. One organization that works to make sure that your child is healthy is the March of Dimes. Find out how simple it is for you to make a difference. And you've probably noticed a difference in price when it comes to what you're paying for pork. We'll learn what's to blame for the spike and what other food prices are on the rise and why. And you will take a hit on your wallet if you're scammed. Tax season has criminals getting very creative. We're going to take a look at the top tax scams and find out how you can avoid becoming a victim. And criminals will even go so far as to target man's best Friend. No, trust me, you gotta hear this story. Plus, celebrating 41 years of drama on the young and the restless. But they're celebrating more than just a milestone. Find out why the party's really popping. Now, if you missed any of today's information, just visit DelmarvaLife.com. Delmarva Life. Life at its best here on Delmarva. Now, don't go anywhere. WBOC News at 6 starts right now.